thank you, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> she said I was a sex pot in case you couldn't hear at home. <laughs> I had to make sure they heard that, you know? It might have sounded like crack pot at home. Or you've gone to pot. I have some pot for you. All right, we have to, we have such a, uh, what do we have tonight? Oh, it's a show. We're going to do a show tonight. <laughs> we have such a great show for you tonight. What's the matter? What's happening? What's that? Oh, your stick broke. Look at that. That's pathetic. Look at that. I'll fix That's it. so sad. I can get more. I can get Look more. That. that is so sad. All right. Sad. All right. Put that to bed. It'll be fine. We, uh, we have such a good show tonight. Big, big news out of Hollywood. Do you want to hear this? Yeah. Okay. You realize if you had said no, I'd be screwed right now. <laughs> All right, big news out of Hollywood. In a recent interview, Tom Cruise said that he supports President Bush's plan to attack Saddam Hussein. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and after hearing this, President Bush said, that's great. All we need now is the go-ahead from Julia Roberts. <laughs> Ready to go. Glad that these people are deciding our foreign policy. Phyllis Stiller said, go do it, yay! <laughs> Yesterday, speaking of uh, celebrities, Liza Minnelli and her husband, David Guest, told reporters that their upcoming reality show will be nothing like the Osbournes. Yeah. Yeah, apparently the main difference will be that people watch the Osbournes. <laughs> that's the thing that's the clicker, I believe. Difference? We have any uh, fans of uh, Superman movies uh, out, out here? Okay. Uh, we have. I love him. Yay! No, oh, I like Spider Man, Superman, Spider Man. I like getting nerds angry at each other. Uh, <laughs> fans of Superman are upset because it's been reported that the plot of the next Superman movie includes a storyline about Jimmy Olsen being gay. People are mad. Yeah, apparently you can tell that Jimmy Olsen's gay because he keeps trying to get into the phone booth with Clark Kent. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, that's the key in my business. When one isn't great, you move quickly to the next one. All right. You're going to like this. That was me moving quickly to the next joke. In, uh, in France, I got to mention this before we go. In France, a man has sued over the country's ban on dwarf tossing. <laughs> He's suing because there's a ban on dwarf tossing, claiming that it has kept him from earning a living. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not surprisingly, the judge threw the case and the dwarf out of court. They were tossed right <laughs> out. That's pretty good. All right, let's talk about tonight's show. We have such a good show tonight. We have a great show tonight. Uh, we have animal expert on the show tonight. He's brought all kinds of animals I've never seen before. They haven't had their shots. They are filled with disease. They could get loose at any time. This is gonna be like a Fox special tonight. They're gonna be eating at my face. Clyde Peeling brought his animals. You, of course, uh, know her from Law & Order. Now she's the star of Crossing Jordan. Jill Hennessy is on the show. <laughs> Jill Hennessy's here. And then, I'm very psyched tonight. Musical guest, doesn't get better than this, Peter Gabriel is on the show. <laughs> right over here, Jimmy Vivino in the Max Weinberg 7. Jimmy. <laughs>
gentlemen, thank you. Woo! Big Friday show tonight. These shows are fueled with a kind of energy you don't find Monday through Thursday. TGIF. <laughs> That was pathetic.